Hello, everybody, and welcome to, I suppose, my first big invitation celebration to a whole new future of energy flows. So I, uh, I am going to give you a few words before we get into the energies of today's celebration. What comes up for you? when you hear the word energy, or when we talk about energy, or you use the vocabulary of energy as a valid, real, or relevant reference point for choices that you're making or things that you're experiencing. Does or has awareness of energy been devalued or invalidated or discredited in favor of thinking, being able to prove stuff, having the ability to explain and use your logic to convince people that you're not fucking stupid or crazy or wrong. So everything that, everywhere you've given up or really minimized or moved sensitivity or relevance of energy perception like way down on your priority scale of life skills due to all the weird stuff we do to invalidate our awareness will you destroy and create all that please right wrong good bad all nine pod poc shorts povads boys and beyonds um i don't know how much access all of you have done since this was a very open invitation. So I just ran the access consciousness clearing statement. If you have no idea what I just said, and it sounded like total gobbledygook, please go to theclearingstatement.com. And there is a great video there with Dr. Dane here and Simone Melissus talking all about it and how it works. It is the magic delete button to destroy and uncreate the way in which you've solidified energy into a particular reality. So I'm gonna give you like a little energy lecture. <laughs> I'm gonna give you, here's Shannon's lecture on energy. So everything in the universe is energy. Now, this is not theory. This is not woo woo access talk. This is literal. Even science says, that's the last time I'm gonna use science as a reference point in this conversation, but I need to use it to leverage into your willingness to receive and surrender to energy. For when you are connected slash being, but I'm gonna use connected first because I think that's an easier inroad. When you are connected to energy, and we'll get way more into how do you connect to energy, what does being connected to energy mean, and what's the use or purpose of being connected to energy. Can you actually disconnect from energy? Like, no, you can't. However, you can go unconscious and form energy into a reality that doesn't work for you. In the Access Foundation class, there is a section called, I think it's called energy flows. It's called energy flows. Wow. Why can I not remember exactly what it's called? I think it's called energy flows. So this term energy flows is coined by Gary Douglas, who's the founder and creator of access consciousness. And he is the person who taught me <laughs> that there was such a thing as energy and energy flows create or destroy. So in the foundation manual, there's a, there is a small section on energy flows, and there are four energy flows included in that section that we start learning uh, as our introduction to the expansion of accessing consciousness. The four energy flows that are included in that foundation are pulling energy, pushing energy, barrier, which is an energy flow, and neutral. There are actually infinite other energy flows. And those of you guys that are going to come on to my energy flow membership, that's going to be a monthly get together of energy flow, power, and possibility. 
uh, we are going to dive into the undefinable, unconfinable possibility of energy in a way that establishes energy as the first and most relevant place to put our attention. For everything is made of energy, literally. It's there's everything in the universe is a measurement of energy, essentially. Your body is made of vibrating molecules called molecule. Oh, yeah, your, your body is made of vibrating molecules that at their core have a source of energy. The computer you're looking at is made of molecules that are energy, the trees outside. Your consciousness or lack of consciousness is informing energy. Probably many of you guys know the study that was made popular. God, it might've been more than 10 years ago with that Japanese doctor whose name I can't remember who was photographing water molecules that were having like people pray over them or people being really angry. And then they would take photographs of the molecules of the water based on different words or different energies or different vibrations being projected at the water and how the water molecules formed different based or how the crystals of the water form different based on the energy that was present. Where have you given up awareness of energy and all the personalities, structures, and judgments you use to make you immune? to energy sensitivity, will you destroy and uncreate on all, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, provides, boys, man's, and everywhere that you think that if you're more aware of energy that you're gonna be like overwhelmed or like you can't handle it and all that, will you destroy and uncreate all that, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, provides, boys, man's. One of the things that all of us has available to us for free that we don't have to be given. It's just literally abundant in the universe. No one gives us permission. No one can take it away. No one gives it to us. What makes it more most available to us is our choice. The thing that all of us have available to us is awareness. So when you're being aware, what is it you're being aware of? One of the really cool things about energy is it never lies. Now, you might not know when you're perceiving energy due to a lifetime of invalidating your knowing and awareness. However, ultimately, every single one of us, as every organism in nature, is sensitive to, perceptive of, and connected to an infinite universe of energy that's listening to you. When you think you narrow into a world of acceptable circumstances, you narrow into the world that others are willing to have. You narrow into a world how much energy awareness or energy connectivity, how much energy are you not accessing due to other people not perceiving it? So let's start with our energy flow exercises from your willingness. And do yourself a favor right now. Let go of everybody that you want to get you, to see you, to come along with you, everyone that you're trying to heal and help and bring into consciousness, everybody that you want to be connected with that's, that might be limiting. What's possible for you? What's possible for you 
and what start our energy journey as you, being you, even if you can't define it, even if you can't define it, even if you don't understand, even if you can't explain it to anybody. Can you be you even if others don't understand? Who gives you permission? So feel free to leave your eyes open. Feel free to lay down and close your eyes. Feel free to go to sleep. <laughs> feel free to... I suppose you can be driving your car, although I wouldn't recommend it. You might want to pull over, but it's up to you. And just sense your body for a moment. Coming out of, out of the invented mind and into an energy organism called your body. Just sense your body. You can put your hand on your chest or on your belly or your thigh. And relax. Your only responsibility in this time we have together now is relaxation. If you start efforting or thinking a whole bunch, relax. The medicine is relaxation. The power is relaxation. The prescription is relax. Relax your mind. Give yourself permission to not be such a control freak. Pushing down your barriers of skepticism. The barriers you think protect you from being made wrong. Pushing down any and all barriers that disconnect you from energy. If you're thinking, is that a form of barrier? Barrier is, barrier has an energy expression. When there is a barrier, how does it affect energy flow? So for the duration of this time we have together now, let's put aside barriers they're not wrong. However, how many of you have become overly good <laughs> at barrier? Now let's start to channel some of that energy you use to create barriers to access and have other energy flows that may work to create different for you, pushing down all the barriers, the barriers of thinking, barriers you have around your body, the barriers you use to not perceive, relax. expanding out in all directions, expanding awareness 
expanding your energy out in all directions, like a sphere generating and emanating and expanding really far. Expanding out to be as big as the planet if you can. And if you can, expanding out into space, the infinite space of universal energy. All of the personalities that replace access to infinite abundant universes of energy Will you destroy and uncreate them all, please? Relax, expand, keep expanding out infinitely in all directions. Now, as you expand out infinitely in all directions, simultaneously expand inward infinitely. So energy isn't going in one direction, it's going in all directions simultaneously. Relax. You don't have to control. In fact, please relax. Noticing what energy flow is easy for you, noticing which energy flows might be a little rusty, <laughs> noticing if you have an energy flow that I ask of you today that doesn't feel totally available to you today. And all of that is good information. And I promise that when you return accessing an energy flow that might not be available to you today when you access it tomorrow i wonder what you'll find so creating an environment of spaciousness you're relaxed barriers down expanded infinitely in all directions, literally. The more space that you allow, the more energy you'll have access to. Energy exists in an infinite space. The more space you allow, the more energy you have access to. What energy have you been looking for in your relationships? What energy have you been looking for with food? What energy have you been looking for with sex? What energy have you been looking for in the guise of money? What energy have you been looking for with exercise? What energy have you been looking for with your thoughts? What energy have you been looking for in your families? What energy have you been looking for in your work, your creation? your life ambition, your ideas, your desires? What energy are you seeking that is free and available to you that you have replaced with stuff like money or validation or being liked? because you think that will give you the energy when really the energy is free, unconditional, and completely available for you to choose without 
condition without debt and without permission. Accessing all of the energy that you can because you can. What have you put before energy that disrupts the energy flow that would create everything you've put before energy that disrupts the energy flows that create, destroy and uncreate all that. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pod, shorts, povads, boys and beyonds. If you desire for something to come to you, that something might be love, that something might be appreciation, that something might be money, that something might be gold, that something might be happiness, that something might be, what is it that you would like to come to you? Pick something, just one thing for you right now. It can be a thing, it could be money, it could be gold, it could be um, a fun sex partner, it could be mm, an, some information that you're looking for that would contribute to a project you're working on. It could be ease, joy, and glory. What would you like to come to you? Pick one thing. Now, with your barriers down and being totally relaxed and expanding in all directions infinitely, start pulling, tugging energy towards your being. And if you don't know how to locate your being, Pull energy towards your solar plexus. You can pull it towards your solar, the solar plexus of your body, or pull it towards your being, whichever one is easier for you. Now, this is the exercise. It being expanded infinitely in all directions while simultaneously now pulling that thing that you want to come to you. Notice if you start going into doubt, resistance, reaction. Are those barriers? And if you couldn't control energy, but you could receive energy, would you receive more now, please? Especially those of you on here that are so fucking right that you have so many barriers to what energy you will let through to you that you are starving for energy. And if you are really into being right, that's not wrong. It's also not right. Is it, what does being right do to the energy flow? So pulling energy, pulling what you'd like to have come to you. For me, what I would like to have come to me isn't even really that defined. It's actually an energy. You don't have to work hard at this, but what I do want you to experience is a sensation of what pulling energy is for you. 
how much energy are you willing to pull? A little bit. How much energy are you comfortable with? And what if you go beyond your comfort? Cool. And pull more. And pull more. And pull greater. And pull more and 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 more. Allowing the energy to move towards you of what you desire to have. Do you allow energy flows? Or are you disruptive to energy flows due to your control, due to your mind, and due to simply nobody teaching you? <laughs> what do you know about energy? That you could claim, own, and acknowledge for you. Sorry if you can hear that really loud motorcycle in my environment. <laughs> so letting the energy flows that we've already generated and stimulated continue. Now let's add on. Let's go into your body's energy, not into, but let's play with your body as a energy exercise, exercise experiment. What energy does your body gift? And have you, have you acknowledged it? What energy is your body asking for and are you receiving it? What actions can you take with your body to access more energy? Now, this is not something we'll practice together today, but you could take this away with you the body has an interesting energy expression that's different than the energy reality of a being. Your body is made of the energy, not just of earth, but really of the universe. Like literally your hair is made of the same stuff that the stars and the, and the sky are made of. Your body is an earth, is an organism of the earth, but the universe that the earth is made of it your being on the other hand is infinite energy being is infinite energy your biological body has a earth rhythm and cycle your being has no beginning or end. However, the energy that your body is made of also has no beginning or end. It's just that the, body, the energy that forms your body was gifted to you for free, <laughs> was gifted for free in the universe for you to enjoy. <laughs> Please enjoy your body. And that energy will have to cycle into the ecosystem from which it came eventually. The energy of being doesn't have to return from whence it came for it has no linear source. It is free, infinite energy 
you are free, infinite energy. Access more free, infinite energy. Receive more energy. Be more energy. Receive more energy. <sighs> Is there an energy your body is asking for? Is there an action you can take with your body to access more energy? What can your body teach you about energy flows? And what energy flow would nourish your biological body And noticing if, noticing what you're perceiving. Do you perceive energy? Do you give yourself permission to acknowledge energy? Have you sought to develop? your energy vocabulary, for there is a vocabulary of energy that is so diverse. Add all of the languages known and spoken by mankind <laughs> and multiply them by infinite. And that's the vocabulary of energy. How much of the vocabulary of energy do you know? How much of the vocabulary of energy have you forgotten because you haven't spoken it in a really long time? And what if you prioritized the vocabulary of energy in your life so that you didn't invalidate energy for an answer or a structure or somebody else's point of view or to be stupid. <laughs> Do you perceive energy? Let's start. Acknowledging energy. This is how we begin to build the vocabulary of energy in our awareness. First, we listen to the energy. Ah, I perceive energy. Can I define this infinite field of perception? What if you didn't, what if the vocabulary of energy couldn't be defined, but could be known? How much do you know that you've been pretending not to know or denying that you know, that if you let yourself know it. We'll give you access to more energy. Energy is the first currency. Energy comes before reality is formed. Energy comes before money. Energy comes before your body. Energy comes before relationships. Energy first. Energy is the building block of everything that you experience. Fact. Energy is the building block it is your consciousness or lack of consciousness that forms energy into the life slash reality you are experiencing. Let us lead. 
Let us lead the future with energy, not with conflict and reaction and rightness and personality and electromagnetics and hiding and effort and bullshit 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 and nothing that has to do with your free and easy access to everything that you require and desire. Your life is free. Everything is given abundantly to those who choose. It is your choice that stimulates energy to form into the reality of your choosing. Your neediness and emptiness and deep belief in lack does not invite energy. It disconnects you from the infinite free energy what can you ask for that isn't about fulfilling a need, that isn't about remedying a lack for why do you not get what you ask for when you ask to fulfill a need or remedy a lack? Because need and lack are not true. They are invented points of view. You cannot form energy into what is not true. What can you ask for? Oh, by the way, ask is a form of pulling energy. True ask is a form of pulling energy. And everywhere that you have turned your easy ask into a needy, pathetic, hopeless plea of impossible fulfillment due to being raised by people who basically believed they were on empty and taught you that you were empty. Is that true? Or is that a invented point of view and a personality that you use to fit into the family of man and give up access to an infinite field of ever expanding universes of energy? What can you ask for? That has no expectation, no need, no pain. What can you ask for purely from the freedom purely just because you can? What can you ask for that you have no reason or justification to ask for? What energy can you have that you have no reason, justification, or explanation for having? For if energy is free, it has no condition attached to it. You don't earn energy, you choose energy. You don't lose energy, you gift energy. You don't lack energy, for there is always energy.
What personality have you been using to limit the energy you could be choosing and destroy and uncreate all that? Right, wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, bovads, boys, and beyond. And if you didn't lack energy, would you fit? Hmm. There is an energy flow behind everything that we experience. For example, a stomach ache, an argument with a friend, a car crash, a rash, everything that you experience. Think about, think about something that you had recently go on for you that I guess was like heavy or heavy. I guess that's the best. It, and it could be like, I think heavy. <laughs> so just find a, something that was heavy. It could be an, a conversation you had with somebody. It could be like something you ate that made your body feel heavy. You know what I mean? Like heavy, heavy in your body or heavy in your energy. Now ask what is the energy flow underneath that? What is the energy flow underneath that? And I just realized that I, I've been like, I have this like, not that recent, but I guess I've been interested in this in a long time. I have like a huge amount of interest in exercise science and like nutritional science and like everything that that impacts. Um, and I've been, I just read a book about, well, called forever strong but she it's this doctor who's like this and she's not the only one saying this but there's like all this like information about protein um so i mean energy is so such a huge conversation because we can talk about the energy of the earth right and the energy of our biology so so protein carbohydrates and fat are considered like the three macronutrients essential macronutrients for your body to um, live. And those macronutrients are essentially, it, essentially energy, right? So food is, I think most of you guys probably know this, all plant matter that we eat is energy captured from the sun through the photosynthesis of plants and that turns it into fruits, vegetables, et cetera. The flesh that we eat is also energy captured from the sun and uh, built into carbon bonds that store energy. And then when we eat elements, we're essentially ingesting elements of energy that our body then puts through these in this credible process called metabolism that allows us, our body to convert energy, release the energy that we've just consumed into energy that moves our cells. I didn't explain that exactly right, but the point being that everything is existing on an energy scale and we have the physiological energies. We all know about fossil fuels, which are not even just fossil fuels, but so many of the energy sources, quote unquote, that we use on this planet um, that are burned to access the energy like fossil fuels or wood. Um, there has to be an access to energy. And it's an interesting experience living on a planet that is, an, is full of infinite energy cycles, 
nature is an infinite energy cycle. Like literally it infinitely generates. <laughs> are you behaving like nature or are you, what are you behaving like? Are you, are you part of the infinite energy cycles or are you like having this real lacking experience? And if you're experiencing this lack thing, that's a whole other conversation. But that essentially that lack thing is an energy, is a disrupted energy flow. And one of the things that my dad taught me that's been really helpful was about energy flows for we are all impacting energy all the time. We are energy and we impact energy. Are you conscious of the way in which you're impacting energy? And I posit that many of the, the things that we struggle with in life or that don't come to us easily is due to not having access or not um, being conscious of the energy flow of the situation. So energy flows, I believe, <laughs> are the most advanced technology. Your ability to, to connect with energy, essentially really what's more true is that you be energy, is the most advanced technology. Everything else that you see in our society that requires an external energy source to function, i.e. your car, right? Your car can't function unless it gets an external energy input. Your computer can't function unless it gets an external energy input, you know? But what about your body? It seems to function. And where's that energy coming from? Ah, maybe your body is plugged into the universe of energy. That's free. <laughs> There is literally no tax. No one owns energy. Are you accessing the energy? Are you acknowledging energy as a companion for creation? So let's change the conversation about what's available to us and get into the energy flows as a valid and practical life skill. So I look forward to diving in to the future and the ongoing practice of energy flows with each and every one of you that comes on to my energy flow membership. Just FYI, you guys, it's like $47 to join it per month. That's like insanely cheap. I don't do anything that cheap, just FYI. And the price will go up once I start, I guarantee it. But if you sign up for the energy flow membership, like whenever you sign up, you basically stay at that price for the lifetime of your membership. So I am a futurist. I will be in the future. If you want to join me there too, let's create a different reality together. Um, today was a little bit of a diffuse tour of the, the university of energy. Um, I'm pretty excited to get into very like specific areas of energy uh, work. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot about travel because I travel a lot and I've played around a lot with energy flows to do really interesting practical things with travel days. Um, obviously bodies, we will have whole sessions dedicated to money flows, which is like really fun. And then a whole bunch of undefined stuff that's going to come up. I follow the energy for every session. Today was essentially following the energy. I had a whole list of other stuff I wanted to do with you guys, none of which wanted to happen. So it was the energy that was available today that dictated today. Thank you all so much for showing up for energy. I am honored to be part of a universe of energy with all of you. See you guys out there in the world. Goodbye.